Hi guys and welcome to this Divi WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well today, I roll down, we're going to create this sort of interesting image skewed background effect. Whereas we've got our images and in the background we've got a sort of skewed background. It kind of highlights the image a bit more, it's just an interesting little effect. And it's fairly easy to do with a bit of custom CSS. As you can see here, I'm using the Divi theme from Elegant Themes. And the Divi theme just keeps getting better and better. If you're building any sort of WordPress site at all, I do suggest you take a look at it. And you can take it for a test run from my affiliate link below this video if you feel like it. So let's get started. I'll do this on a new page. And as usual, I'm going to build it on the front end with the visual builder, which uh, makes life very easy for you. Okay, so let's add a new little section here. Little blue button, regular section. And I'll give it three columns. And let's insert an image. By default, Divi comes with all these light gray blocks. These other colored ones, I've, I've got third party plugins, but Divi comes with a bunch of blocks and modules by default. So let's add an image. Okay, so we've got our image in place now. I do apologize for the audio quality today. My uh, voice is not behaving itself, but I hope you can understand what I'm saying. So I'm now in the content in the background module. I'm just going to give it a background color. You can't see it because the image is on top of it right there. So I've just selected green. And I'm going to save that. Now, what we want to do is we kind of want to skew the whole module. It doesn't matter which way you do it, but I'm going to go into the custom CSS of this module and just write a bit of code here. And I'll put this code below the video if anybody wants to use it. Of course, you can just adapt it for your own needs. You don't have to use exactly what I'm doing here. So I'm on the image module. I'm going to the advanced block to custom CSS. In the main element field here, I'm going to say rotate. I want it to rotate. So I'm going to say transform colon. And what do we want it to do? We want it to rotate and open and close some round brackets. And inside there, we want to put the amount that you want it to actually rotate in degrees. So 90 degrees, it will make it vertical. If I put that, you see it's flipped it up on its end. I don't want quite as much as that. <laughs> Let's say 12.5 degrees. You might say that's a strange number. And the only reason I'm using that is because it's what I used in the last when I did those ones on the front page there. That's fine, but I actually want it tilted the other way. So when I do the background effect, it kind of goes the other way. So I'm going to say minus 12 degrees to make it go the other way. There we go. And for browser cross compatibility, we want to add what they call a vendor prefix to make sure that it works in all the browsers. So I'm just going to copy that. Underneath, I'm going to say dash webkit dash again and just paste it after it right there. Give that space at the end there. Make sure I put a semicolon on there. Make sure you put one there too in case we want to add some more code. And save that. All right, so we've got our image skewed, and now what we're going to do is we're going to tell it actually to straighten back up. And we just want the background to be skewed. 
So we got, if you remember, we put in a background color of green, I think it was green, there we go. And what I wanna do is target the actual image itself. So let's give this module a class. And again, image module, advanced, CSS ID and classes. You don't have to call it this. I'm gonna call it SKIM for sort of short for skewed image. You can call yours what you want. It's just when I do classes, I usually try and make something that's relevant that I can remember. Okay, let's save that. And what I'll do, I'm just gonna go ahead and save this and exit the visual builder so I can inspect the element and show you exactly what I'm gonna do next. So let's save this. And exit the visual builder. Okay, I'm using a Google Chrome browser here. So I'm gonna right click on the image and hit inspect. And it'll bring up the Chrome inspector here. As long as you've got the elements tab highlighted here and the styles tab here, you'll have HTML here and CSS over here. Your tabs may be somewhere else. You can adjust the position of them with the little three dots over here. Okay, so there's our image. Scroll up so you can see, there's our image. As you can see, when I roll over it with my mouse, it turns it blue. So I know I'm on the right element. And if we go up a couple, here's a div with the class, a couple of ET classes, elegant themes classes, and there's our class of skim. So to affect this image, I need to target skim. It's a class, so it'd be dot skim. And then I want to target the image. And what I want to do is rotate the image the opposite way that we just rotated it. That way, it'll be square again. And the background will still be rotated like this. So you should see the green background will be have this sort of aspect. And the image itself will be square again. So I've got to remember skim, image. Now... I'm going to put this in the page CSS today. Um, if I enable the visual builder. Well, before I do that, I'll show you. If you're going to be using this on various pages on this, your site, I suggest you put it in the custom CSS module in the Divi, which if we go to the dashboard, there's Divi, theme options. And right down the bottom, we're on the general tab at the top here, general. Right down at the bottom, here's the custom CSS. And as you can see, I've got a bunch there already. If you're going to be using this effect on, on many different pages on the site, then I suggest you put it here rather than just on the page. That way you'll just have to add that class of skim, S-K-I-M, to whatever module you want it to affect. So let's go back. Here we are on the page again. Let's enable the visual builder again. and put in our code. So a little purple button, it'll cog just to the right of it. It brings up the page settings. We'll go to advanced, custom CSS. Now we want to target that class of skim. So it's dot because it's a class, skim. And then within that, we want to target that actual image, IMG. And open, close some curly brackets. And within there, we want to put our CSS code. Now, from memory, I think I still got that in my clipboard that we copied just now. So let's try pasting that in. Yep. And as you can see, it's flipped it even more. So what I want to do is take that minus away and put plus, and that should make it straight again. And of course, we'll do the web kit. Vendor prefix right there. And don't forget to put your semicolon in. Uh, we're going to say background color. Uh, 
and we want to keep that as the current color. There we go, and now we've put that in, you can see our green background has appeared there. And the only other thing I did, I added a bit of box shadow just to make the image stand out a bit. Box shadow. And it was uh, five picks by five picks by about 20 picks. And the color was a sort of dark gray or medium gray, 777. And it looks like I need to add my semicolon on the end of there. There we go. Now it's got that box shadow. And we've got that green background color in there. Now let's just tidy this up. And like I said before, if you're going to be using this effect on different pages on the site, I'd put this where I showed you before, which was in the main CSS box under the Divi options there, theme options. Okay, so that seems to be working fine. The only other thing I want to do now, just click that save, take the opacity or opacity down on that background color so it's not quite as in your face, but that again is subjective, it's entirely up to you, whatever works for you. Now, of course, once you've done this first one, I don't know, something like that. Or you can make it gray and make it like a shadow. But once you've done this first one, all you need to do is copy that image. As you can see, the actual image thing's skewed there. Um, so just hit the two little oblongs there. That'll copy that. It doesn't matter which one you drag across. And you can add image and it doesn't matter what shape image you put in there. It'll adapt to whatever image you want to put in there and of course change the background color if you want to. Make this one blue. And yeah, just simply copy again. And you can come up with a quite interesting little gallery effect this way. Go in there, change the image. Oh, we've got a portrait one there. And we change the background color on this one to, I don't know. And there you have it. You've got some interesting little gallery items going on there. I'm just going to take the opacity down a little bit more on that. Bring that away so I can see what I'm doing here. Yep. Kind of like it more of a pastel color. Same with this one. Uh, background. Fine. And of course, you can just copy your items, add more images, and come up with quite an interesting looking gallery if you, you know just place them in different places, different shapes and sizes. You can add a bit of padding too to the to the images or a bit of margin underneath each one and make them 
give them a bit more space. So if we go into our custom CSS, and the module itself is called skim, so let's give it an extra margin. I could have done this first, but I didn't. Skim, open and close some curlies. And let's give it a margin on the bottom of, say, I don't know, let's try 50 pixels. And you can keep going on and on, customize it to your heart's desire there. There we go, had to add the important class there just to force it. Save that. And there you go, you've got kind of interesting little gallery effect going on there, or whatever you want to do with it. Just save our changes. And exit the Visual Builder. And there we are, there's our little image gallery with skewed image backgrounds. Fun little effect, play with it, do, do it how you want. Like I say, I'll put the CSS code below this video. If you want to use it, feel free. So I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free courses down there as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do take a look. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.